gentlemen, now's the time to start making your way toward the crowd line. We're about to get started with the world's fastest motorsport. Uh, revolution for a minute. Okay, so to the right right now, we have our full position sitter, Andy Ford 30. That guy's been sponsored by Skill, and he's a, one of the fastest uh, pilots out here right now. He's qualified at the Nuno National Championship at the Nuno School. So what you're yeah. saying is he's going to land and we shouldn't even watch this? No, no, no. He has a newly finished aircraft with twin turbos on that thing. That thing was over 400 miles. I think a little suffering for good this past week, but we don't know who's going to win it. He's uh, eight. That guy's also got twin turbos in his aircraft. This sounds a little bit more like street outlaws. If anybody got twin turbos, we got superchargers, and some guys actually have nitrous bottles in their aircraft to make them go faster. Give him a big old wave as they taxi on by, ladies and gentlemen. Now taxiing alongside all these sport racers down there. Taxing very slowly, look at each pilot. Each pilot's giving Bob a thumbs up. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, just got the word. Pace is rolling. He's putting that throttle into maximum power right now, at least in all 300 horses underneath that engine. Andy Finley right behind him in the full position, lining up behind Bob Millis. Bob Mills is now airborne. And he's starting his takeoff roll at this point in time. Final five in a big old wave. This next up, Tonic is Dave Sperling, Sport 8. Sport 6. Later, sport 10. Got John Jim is pulling to pull Lance Air Legacy. And last but not least, our good buddy John. As you can see out there, Bob Mills is the position for the rest of the race. So that you need to identify him and see where he's at. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a race. Bit of power they can out of those engines. As right now, Andy Finley's leading them onto the course, making that left hand turn. Right now, we got Andy Finley in the lead, Tom McNerney closing in on him. Dave Sterling in number three position, taking a high line, trying to get out of his weight turbulence. Pre identified on the back side of the course right there. That is the furthest that they get away from here. Looks like Bijan in the back of Sport 23 back there is uh, pedaling pretty hard. Right now, estimated their speed is probably over 300 miles an hour as they are lining up those engines. Here we go, one, two, and three, rounding seven, eight, nine pilot right there. Oh, that's a beautiful solo right there. First time in New Mexico, air race. Here we come around the home pylon. Listen to those engines wound up. Goosebumps has a cool sound. Uh, look on the back side of the course right now. Tom McNerney is closing in on Andy Finley. Coming up to wingtip to wingtip. We might have a pass here soon. Oh, and look at Tim Slater right now on the back side of the course. Coming up on Joe Caraggio, Sports 6. Each lap they get faster and faster. I estimate that this uh, time around they might be around 315 miles an hour. Tom McNerney is coming on the high side of Andy Finley. Right place to pass Andy if he can do it. 
Wingtip to wingtip, coming around the pylons. Here they come from the left-hand side, ladies and gentlemen. Can Tom McNerney pass Andy Finley, our reigning champ? Oh, just barely. Andy has a little moose. Andy flinched a little bit there, which is a little technique that the uh, racers use just to try to get the guy off their wing there. Right here we have Colleen Sterling just past the home pylon with Bijan trying to rein her in. All these spots are very highly experienced air racers. We've been racing up here all together for the last at least 10 years. Bijan, our newest individual here, is our rookie pilot. Phenomenal pilot. Everybody here is professional on their own regard. A lot of these guys are just civilian pilots, no military background, no commercial background. Our, our full position sitter, Andy Finley, used to work for Still as a uh, civil engineer, and Tom McNerney is a uh, aircraft consultant. Oh my gosh, look at this. I was just told, look left, ladies and gentlemen, Tom McNerney has once again put himself in position of possibly passing Andy Finley. Do we think we can do it? Do we think we can do it? Come on, Tom. Oh, yeah, well, it might work. Oh, Tom has got it. Tom McNary, Sport 4, taking the full position from Andy Finley, our reigning champ. But can Andy take it back? Oh, it looks like Tom went a little wide there. Andy's still holding the inside line. Tim Slater, here we go, Put, moving to the outside of Joe Caraggio. Oh my goodness, we got two wonderful battles going on. Look on the backside of the course right now, ladies and gentlemen. Tom McNerney out in front of Andy Finley. Right here we got Bijan Sport 23 coming on the outside of Colleen. Those individuals right there are probably doing about 275 miles an hour. In our third position is Dave Sterling. Dave is a retired United Airlines captain. He's also a jet racer. He owns an L39, just what you saw a little while ago, and Jai flying his beautiful black race 11. Dave Sterling flies with him, and they like to rip each other. That Dave is a little bit faster. But you know what? I think Jai's got something in the books here for next year. From your left, air show left, ladies and gentlemen, Tom McNerney in the pole position, but look at this. I think Hanley has said enough. I'm coming after you, buddy. Just clocked Andy up at about 325 miles an hour. Here's another battle coming from our left right here. We have Tim Slater and Joe Caraggio. Does our class president have it? I think he does. Oh my goodness, look at this ladies and gentlemen, Tim Slater. Great job, buddy. I think they had a uh, little nitrous on there. And we have yet another battle, a third battle from left to right, ladies and gentlemen, from air show left. Does Bijan have what it takes to pass Colleen? Wingtip to wingtip again on the deck at 50 feet, 300 miles an hour around there. Oh, and he's got it just by a hair. Oh my goodness, if you look to the left again, we already have our first place through third place coming around the bend here, guys. Can Tom McNerney hold off Andy Finley with Dave Sterling in close pursuit? Come on, Andy. Wingtip to wingtip again. Oh boy, it's anybody's battle right now. And if we look left, we have our next battle coming around here between Tim Slater and Joe Caraggio. I think Joe said the same thing. I'm not going to let you pass me, I'm going to try to get you this time. 
Joe Karaja on the outside, Tim Slater on the inside. Does Joe have what it takes at this point in time? Oh my gosh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. And yet again, wingtip to wingtip. Tim Slater's fighting them off. As you're flying around these pylons, gentlemen, as a pilot, you have to look two or three pylons ahead to have your line set. If you're looking at the next pylon, which is maybe about 100 to 200 yards away, you're not looking far enough, your line's not going to be that great. You need a smooth line. Smooth is fast. And here's our next competitors right here, Bijan and Colleen. Colleen has got the lead now, pushing out in front of Bijan. It's 423. And here come our first, second, and third pilots from the left. Looks like we got Tom McNerney down low fighting off Andy. Andy's on the high side, outside. Oh, it looks like Andy's got the lead back now. Oh, it goes back and forth. Tom McNerney down low trying to fight off Andy Finley, the rain fan. As we look left again, here comes our next battle between Tim Slater, a class president, and Joe Caraggio. Looks like Joe Caraggio this time's got our class president, Tim Slater, by aircraft. Nice clean pass. If you look to the back side of the course right now, we have our leaders, one, two, and three, fighting them off, getting really close, guys. I think they're setting themselves up for another pass. But they're right on the heels of our six and seven place aircraft from Airshow left here. Colleen Sterling and Bajan Sport 23 flying at Class Air 3. Right now, Bajan on the outside pushing that nose down. See how he just traded altitude for airspeed and took the lead back from Colleen. And here goes our first, second place again. Andy's still a little bit out in front. Tom McNerney taking the low road, sticking close to those pylons. With Dave Sterling keeping an eye on these guys. this right here. We got uh, Tim Slater on the right hand side of Joe Caraggio. And I just got to ask a question. How do the pilots know when it's legal to pass? Well, it's legal to pass when you tell the pilot that you're passing. For instance, right now we got Tim Slater on the outside of Joe Caraggio. Sport 6, Sport 10 is on your right. That signifies that now Sport 6 knows that there's somebody on his right hand side and to be along the lookout. So when Sport 10 moves out in front, about a plane length in front of him and is opening, then Sport 6 says, Sport 10, you are clear. That signifies to Sport 10 that he can now move down into the pole position in front of the other guy. That's when it's a legal safe pass occurs. Now if we look to the left, we got a gaggle coming on here with our 7-8 position. Bijan up front, Sport 23, Colleen Sterling, and Sport 52 on the heels. We got our pole position. Andy take it back from Tom McMurray and Sport 30 there with uh, Tom at Sport uh, 4 and Dave Sterling and Sport 8. All these faster guys are going to have to go to the outside of the 7-8 positions here and they're going to lap them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the white flag, white flag that Andy just took. This next lap around will be Andy's checkered flag. Coming around home, home pylon here, we got Joe Caraggio holding off class president Tim Slater. Can Tim catch Joe by the next lap? Uh, fingers crossed. Now from Airshow Center to, to your left, 
look here. We got Andy Finley out in front with a big lead on Tom McNerney. Looks like they had a little trouble getting around those seven, eight position guys here. Here they come for the checkered flag, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes your first place finisher. Andy Finley does it again at Sport 30 with Tom McNerney in Sport 4 in second place. Dave Sterling, Sport 8 in third place. Coming off the course, going to the cool down. Here's Sport 23 and Sport 52. Because they got lapped, they have to pull off the course too. Ladies and gentlemen, eyes left. Here comes our two finishers right here between Tim Slater and Joe Caraggio. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Wingtip to wingtip. Who's got it? Point those noses down, get a little airspeed. Does Tim Slater have it? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, he got him by the nose. Woo! All right. So the pilot safe to fly. They put it through his paces, top speed, slow speed, stall speed, and geolancing speeds. You'll see them pivot, run up their engines, and say hi to all of you. We encourage you to uh, come down to the uh, spectator tent. We're going to award the trophies there, and I'll keep talking to you as long as I can get distance out of this microphone. Um, we we had three top finishers duke it out. You saw Tom Gurney steal away the lead for a while and he was down polishing the pylons. Andy, Andy Finley, our defending champion, did get him on the last lap. So finish order, race 3-0, Andrew Finley. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to secure their aircraft, shut them down, get out of their helmets, and come and visit with you. So please come up to the front lines. We're going to say hi as close as we can. You're going to see the awarding of trophies. And